Hi, everybody. I have a question for you. Are all your clients men? Are all managers male? What about company CEOs? Are they all men? Well, a lot of them are, but not all. And I think you will agree that not all clients are men and definitely not all managers are men. So I have a little tip for you, my French speaking friends. If you say, when a client comes to the office, you should offer him a coffee. Or you say a good manager listens to his team. Or maybe you tell me a CEO has a strategy for his company. You are implying that clients, managers, CEOs are men. Now, we're not in the 1950s anymore. Women hold every position. And we need to reflect that when you're speaking. French is easy because it's le client or le manager. So when you use a pronoun, you're going to automatically use he, him, his. And everybody knows what you're talking about. When you do this in English, you sound a little sexist. It sounds as though you're saying managers are always male. So what can you do to prevent this? Well, you could say he or she. When a client comes to the office, you can offer him or her a coffee. It's a little clunky, though. It's not very natural. And there's an easier way that you can do this. You can use the word they, even if it's one person that you're talking about. It doesn't matter. When a client comes to the office, you should offer them a coffee. A good manager listens to their team. A CEO has a vision for their company. This avoids the problem of choosing male or female for the person that you're talking about. And yes, they can be used if it's only one person. In the past, it was seen as ungrammatical, but now it's common usage. So I'd like you to try to remember this so that you don't sound sexist next time you're speaking about clients, managers, CEOs, or anyone else who is male in French, but not necessarily in English.